two limit questions on the spot. The first one, the limit as x goes to 0 plus x to the 1 over x power. And for the second one, we have the limit as x goes to infinity with the same function, x to the 1 over x power as well. Well, maybe one of this is easier than the other because you see they look so alike, right? Well, maybe they're just equally easy. But anyway, you should pause the video and give this a try first. Okay, which one did you guys do first? And you guys should tell me, it's this one, because this one's actually easier, right? And what we should do for limit is that we should always try to plug in the numbers into all the x, into all the variables first, to see what kind of forms that we get, right? Sometimes we can draw a conclusion right away, sometimes not, but let's talk about this one first. Let me plug in 0 plus into the x right here. So it looks like we have 0 plus in the parentheses like this, and then raised to the 1 over 0 plus for the power, right? Okay, this is 0, and 1 over 0 plus, because they are both positive, you can conclude that it's just pretty much infinity. So this is going to be 0 plus raised to the positive infinity power. And now, technically this is just like 0 to the infinity power, and this is positive infinity is this, one of the indeterminate forms. Well, no. In fact, 0 to the past infinity, this right here, we get to draw a conclusion right away. And the conclusion that we can draw is that this is just going to be going towards 0, all right? 0 to the infinity power, it's not an indeterminate form. We can actually draw a conclusion in this right away, all right? So the answer to this is just 0, and let me box this. This is a zero in the box. Anyway, that's it for the first one. You don't have to do anything too crazy because you get to draw a conclusion right away. However, let's take a look at the second one. We do the same thing. Let's just plug in the numbers like how we did it over there. But this time, it's infinity. So here we go. We have infinity for the base. And then I will have 1 over infinity like this. And when we have 1 over past infinity like this, this right here is 0, so we will have infinity raised to the zeroth power like that. Okay, can we draw any conclusion with infinity to the zeroth power? No, right? This right here, we don't know what it is yet, right? We must do more work in order to argue that the answer legitimately, okay? And maybe you guys have seen my other videos about 0 to the zeroth power. 0 to the zeroth power can be a lot of things, right? Just like this, infinity to a zero's power, it can be a lot of things as well. But here is how we are going to attack this question. Just like in my previous video about how to show you guys how to differentiate x to the 1 of x power, let me just take a look of the x right here for the base, because we like to work with space e when we have an exponential situation, right? So notice, let me just put down a note right here. x, it's the same as saying e to the ln x power, Right? So, this is the work that we'll do. First of all, let me just write down, here is the limit. Yes, we have to write down limit every single time, right? The limit as x goes to infinity. And now, the x is just e to the ln x power, and then you take that, raised to the 1 over x power, like this. And when we have a power to a power situation, we get to just multiply the powers together, isn't it? This is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. Base is still e, and then we can just look at this as 1 over x times ln x. And that's precisely just ln x over x, right? And now, what can we do? As x goes to infinity, e to this right here, this is the function, because e to the something is continuous, we can do the following, right? So it's like this, right? But I will write it down as the following. We can just take the limit of this right here. So we will have e for the base right here. And then we take the limit. So I'll put down like a parenthesis in red. And then we'll look at the limit as x goes to infinity of the function ln x over x, like this. And if we can somehow come up with an answer for this, then we'll be done and then we just do e to that power. That's it. Okay, in this situation, look at infinity into here. Ln infinity is infinity. 
infinity into here is also infinity. Infinity over infinity, that's also an indeterminate form, right? Therefore, we have to do more work. But this is not bad at all because we can use Laputal's rule, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use Laputal's rule by doing ddx on the top and also ddx on the bottom. And we will see this is going to be, let me just write it down uh, right here. So this is equal to, and I'm just using the Laputal's rule in blue, so I'll put down LH like this. And that was the infinity over infinity situation for Laputal's rule. That's good. We love 0 over 0 and also infinity over infinity because we can use Laputal's rule to back us up. Anyway, we still have the base E. And we're just focusing on this limit. Namely, we'll get the limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of L and x on top is just 1 over x over the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. So we have 1 over like, like this, right? Over 1. Now, when we plug in infinity into here, we get what? We pretty much just end up with 1 over infinity, which is 0. In another word, the E for the base stays. But this thing right here is 0. So in all, we have e to the 0's power like this. And of course, we can work this out. This is just equal to 1, right? So that's the answer. And let me just write this down legitimately. The limit as x goes to infinity of x to the 1 over x. This right here is equal to 1. And this is the work that you have to show to back up your answer. Do not just say infinity to the zero's power will give you one. Because as uh, some of you or some of my viewers may know, I'm going to give you guys more examples that infinity to the zero's power is equal to some other bizarre numbers. Right? So be sure you do this for this particular question. However though, once again, when you have zero to the infinity power, you get to draw a conclusion right away, and that's equal to zero. Anyway, this is it.